Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll dive into the Salesforce Trailhead module on control access to records. By the end, you'll be able to list the four record level security methods, know when to use each one and apply them to keep your data secure. Let's jump in. We will kick off today's session with understanding record level security. Before setting up record level security, Ask yourself, should all users have access to every record or just certain records? Salesforce gives us four ways to control record level access, org-wide default, OWD. This is the baseline security where you lock down records at the most restrictive level, role hierarchies, allow managers to access the same records as their team, sharing rules, automatically give record access to groups who need it, Manual sharing, let record owners share individual records. Each method builds on the previous, so start restrictive and gradually open up access as needed. Let's start with org-wide defaults. OWD settings establish the minimum level of access for all users, like deciding if records are private or public read only. Access OWD settings. Go to Setup, Type, Sharing Settings in the Quick Find box and select Sharing Settings. Set OWD for objects. Under Organization-wide defaults, choose access for each object. Private. Only record owners and users above them in the role hierarchy can view and edit. Public read only. All users can view, but not edit. Public read or write. All users can view and edit. For example, in a recruiting app, you might set the position object to public read only, so everyone can view job positions but not make changes. Next, let's look at role hierarchies. These ensure managers can see the same records as their team. Role hierarchies automatically grant access up the management chain, making sure leaders have oversight without extra sharing rules. Navigate to roles. In setup, search for roles and create or modify a hierarchy based on your organization's structure. Assign users to roles. Users can be added to roles to control their record access based on hierarchy. Remember, role hierarchies are useful for ensuring smooth visibility from the bottom up, but don't replace sharing rules for broader access across departments. Next, sharing rules. For cases where teams need access to records they don't own, use sharing rules. Sharing rules are exceptions to OWD and are perfect for cross-team access. To create a sharing rule, go to Sharing Settings under Setup. Choose the object and rule criteria. Define which records to share and with whom based on criteria or ownership. Next, select Access Level. Choose Read Only or Read Write Access for the shared records. Imagine in the recruiting app hey, if interviewers need access to all job applications but don't own them, a sharing rule can provide them with read access to those records. Finally, we have manual sharing. Record owners can share individual records with specific users when needed. To use the share button, on a record detail page, click the share button. Add a user and permission level. Choose the user and decide on read-only or read-write access. Pro tip, manual sharing is perfect for ad hoc situations where users need limited access to specific records. All right, let's apply this with a hands-on challenge. Your company wants a custom project object where records are only visible to their owners and users above them in the role hierarchy. To create the project object, go to Object Manager and click Create Object. Fill out the details for the label, project, then for plural label, projects, the object name, project, the record name, project name, text. Next set, OWD for project object. Go to sharing settings, find project, and set the OWD to private. Next, enable role hierarchy access. Ensure Grant access using hierarchies is enabled for users higher up to see records in their hierarchy. With this setup, 
only project owners and their managers can access records meeting your company's security requirements for sensitive projects. And that's a wrap. Today, we learned the four record level security controls in Salesforce, org wide defaults, role hierarchies, sharing rules, and manual sharing. By layering these controls, you can create a flexible and secure data access model tailored to your organization. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more Salesforce tutorials. Check out our data security playlist for more tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.